Merry Christmas. Your tag felicitations to you and yours. I'm actually feeling a little bit sick. <laughs> um, I might have underestimated how tricky this might be. Um, but who knows? I'm just hoping they're going to go really easy on me. I'm feeling really excited. It's my first time, first time on the chase. Um, we just had this slight run through. Um, and I just love a quiz. So actually, I think this is right up my street. So the last time I was here, it was myself, Eric Bristow, Sammy Winwood, and Nadine Doris. And Sammy and Nadine both went out. They both got caught. And, you know, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but Eric did buzz in on a golf question and stand there and not answer it. <laughs> and I remember standing next to him going, dude, pass. Pass. So uh, I'm determined not to let that happen again. Yeah. I would say my strong subjects, I should probably say like the Bible or something in there, but actually I'm, I'm not always that great, I get a bit of a mental block. Um, but uh, yeah, pop music, I'm not bad on 90s hip hop, uh, I'm okay on telly and that sort of stuff, but it, it's only easy if you know the answer, isn't it? You know, when you're under those lights and you're facing that chaser, it's all a bit scary. I'm pretty much good at nothing. <laughs> I mean, I'm sort of a millennial, so anything to do with young people, I feel like I should know the answer to. Maybe a bit of social media I might know. Hopefully something medical might come up and I should be able to answer it. If I can't, that's really embarrassing. Um, uh, I quite like popular culture, so pop music, uh, TV, um, yeah. My weak subjects would be, uh, uh, to be honest with you, a lot of like British telly. I'd like to think that I would gamble, but I am useless at gambling. That's what life has taught me. So uh, I should probably just stick to where I am. I don't want to go lower because do you know what? We're trying to win money for charity, aren't we? It'd be nice to, you know go home with a nice amount of them. So everybody always says, don't they, when they're watching at home, I'd go high, I'd go high, why are they not gambling? But I'm sitting here and I'm in the space nearly and I'm feeling a bit scared. I'm just gonna go with the middle every single time, straight down the middle of the road, that's me. I think once we've done the cash builder, I would be tempted to go really high. I love a gamble. <laughs> Maverick didn't come here to lose. I'm not taking no middle offer. So I'm not taking a low offer. I can't face my family, but I'll at least try and go for the high offer. Squeaky bum time. <laughs> I think I'd quite like to face Vixen, just because she's such a snazzy dresser and I was hoping to get some fashion tips. Oh, I would like to face... Oh, that's such a good question. Probably Anne, because she did the jungle the year after me, so I think it'd be quite cool for us to get her tents. See, I was going to say the cinnamon because he's a doctor as well, and I was like, you know, doctor, doctor, a bit of rivalry. Um, actually, I want to play monk. I want a little bit of a David and Goliath situation going on. <laughs> he's the grumpiest one as well, so I want to see if I can make him smile with my stupidity. I mean, I quite like to face Paul because I know him, but I have a feeling they won't give me him because I know him. Uh, so the vixen has been doing it less time than anyone else, so I feel uh, she'd be far less intimidating than anyone else. I feel like I could almost say, I did the show before you were even on it. Like that, in a real patronising way. How long have you been doing this show? Okay, oh, the first time I did it was back in... Uh... I, can, I can do that.